So what the hell just happened? Uh, that's the only thing I'm gonna say about the chapter. Well, that's what I want to say. But, yeah, I mean... I knew we would face despair, but are you telling me... We just killed off every single ghoul from the Torka neighborhood. With the reveal that Furata is alive, confirming that he indeed, he very well, may very well, or that he very well is a ghoul. Uh, I know I shouldn't have reviewed this series, it's too full of despair for me to like it. So I'll just say this, well, Kaneki fights, he has memories back of an Arima, when everybody talked about him, how strong they were, people admire him, but at the same time never understood anything about him. In a way you could say Arima was just that. He was the perfect, the ultimate soldier, and yet no one knew anything about him in his previous life. They only knew the power he had, not the person. In fact, not even Heise, when he was in Kaneki, he was Heise, knew him. So in desperation, with not able to heal his legs in time, he enters his Kajuka mode, which has some moments um, from Eto's Kajuka that he ate. He uh, managed to destroy the Ukaku that, um, I mean, the Quinchi that Arima has fought with many times, so he takes a new one, apparently a triple S. Quinchy, which is, which is called the Owl, apparent, very likely ripped off from the first time he fought, uh, well, the first time he fought the Owl, Yoshimaru. But I thought you couldn't make a Quinchy out of someone unless you took their life, and Yoshimaru didn't die until he became an uh, organ donor for Aogiri Tree. So yeah, the others, are, Hina and the others are reunited with them and, and try to escape from the meat grinder and suddenly it just starts up and we see Furata alive and well and back beside him we have a lot of the V members. So, that, well that's one hell of a way to end a chapter. We won't get a new Tokyo Ghoul chapter for, I mean, like uh, three weeks or so. And instead you have to feed us despair that maybe every single ghoul just died. Or at least every one of Banju's company. And the only one who survived was uh, Toka and the others. So this is basically the chapter. Did not like it. You can hate me for it as much as you want. The only thing I did like about it was the amount of poetry in it when it came to that everybody admire Ar Arima. And yet no one knows who he really is. I mean, do we even know who he is? We know he's a sadist, but we don't know anything about what he is. I mean, we even saw a flashback when he was a child, how he ca caught a butterfly. Like, catching a bug, he said. It's almost like the famous fly catching from Carrot the Kid. Is that meant to him uh, symbolizing his empty emotions again? So yeah, give me your hate if you have any.